when did you start to feel a level of dif discomfort um, with the Prime Minister? Um, when did that start? Well, constantly I, I realized the Prime Minister was not aware. He was very green in understanding his role and function as the chair of the National Security Council because he kept getting involved in things that it was outside of his authority. Somebody, he probably, that, that person probably was too young, uh, he, he was too young at heart to understand um, the concept of what a prime minister has to do in national security, or the prime minister, the, 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 or another minister was lacking hindsight. And these individuals continued to give the prime minister wrong advice because he felt that as the chair of the National Security Council, I can intervene, I can interfere, I can direct. And when it is you, you, you go on a, a platform to say that I am going to appoint persons from foreign to, to investigate DSS, I am going to appoint someone to investigate firearms who was, a, who was a special branch officer and his job was to collect suitcases when persons arrive at New York City Airport for six years. Oh. I am going to appoint Stanley John to, and PSE, you say that you appoint him, but then after Stanley John sends the report to the, to the National Security Council, I, as the, the Prime Minister, I'm telling you that, um, that you will ensure that you, you can arrest persons in their home in private property. When these, he kept interfering, and with that, as a commissioner of police, I was forced to put him in his place because that incident last year with Bayside, he was basically trying to allude to inform police officers to break the law because the, there was a, a public health regulation and the police did not have the authority to arrest citizens in their home. It was their private property. So that Bayside situation, when it is I clarified, and he, unfortunately, you have an attorney general and a security minister who are both attorneys, they did not brief him to, for him to understand for the police to go into homes. You, had, you must have a state of emergency similar to 2011. Now, remember in 2011, police officers, based on being wrongfully guided by the government, went and we had hundreds of persons wrongfully arrested. I have no intention as commissioner of police to see the, the history repeat itself. People, I was not going to infringe on the constitutional rights of citizens. And if it is that you have your private home, if I did not say that, many junior police officers, being naive, would have believed that the prime minister was correct. In Chinese would have had a Father's Day lime, and you, they come six people, bam, they took your wicket. And we would have had hundreds of millions of dollars in, in legal damages mm -hmm. that, the, that the taxpayers would have to pay. So by me doing that, he took offense to it, but that is your problem. And you know, people say, what, well, you know, Gary, you have to understand, you must have some respect. I said worse things about Kamala Prasad Bissessa when they did not want to approve the bail amendment bill and so other things. So what you're trying to tell me that as a commissioner of police, you can criticize the opposition leader, but not the prime minister. To over 20 police chiefs in the United States attacked President Trump when they had all the yes. divisions. And they told him, shut up, you need to go. But this is a banana republic where well, I'm a PNM supporter. You must speak well about my prime minister. It does not work that way. I was an independent um, commissioner of police, and I was not going to have anyone direct me wrongfully.